So Dave Chappelle, let me bring you the breaking news on him. Um, the backlash to his Netflix special where, you know, he calls himself a turf and he's gotten on the wrong side of these transgender activists. Um, I continue to maintain not normal transgender people. Honestly, like the activists are just the worst. Um, his alma mater, his high school in Washington, D.C., just canceled a planned fundraiser with him after some moronic students threatened to stage a walkout because they were uncomfortable with his remarks. Now, it just I, it was, it's the Duke Ellington School of Arts in Georgetown where he went. And he, the, the, the article uh, points out Chappelle, who has given back to his alma mater in a number of ways over the years. Listen, he donated one hundred thousand dollars to this school. He gave it one of his Emmy Awards in 2017. He delivered a commencement address there. He held a master class for students. He regularly visits campus with other notable celebrities from Bradley Cooper to Chris Tucker and so on and so forth. And because he did that Netflix special, they're basically saying, no, we, we're not doing a fundraiser with you. And by the way, the fundraiser was for a new theater named after him. No word on whether that's going to go forward now as planned. What do you make of what's happening to him and the blowback to that special? Um, well, I'll say, I'll say this. Um, wh- whoever it is, and when you decide to cancel someone, give them all their money back. If you're really serious, give him back the hundred thousand dollars. Give him back Mm. all the money, everything he's ever given. If you're that serious about a couple people that are paid and or whatever their agenda is, and you're going to let them control the narrative, then you are just as part as the problem, because um, it is a problem. It's a serious problem when you allow. You know, if you were going to start defining what is what is offensive, you better get in line. My mm-hmm. wife has had battle cancer for um, over 12, 13 years. Mm-hmm. And I won't say it's from certain things, but maybe we should look at how many women have gotten breast cancer ever since they came out with birth control. I'm not saying birth control is the cause of it, but it's quite interesting, the numbers. Maybe I find that offensive. I find offensive how we sold wars to murder people and kill and genocide our own children to go to a place that we had no right being and come back and not only just blow their limbs off, but now you destroyed their mothers, their brothers, their children, and generations. I find that offensive. And when if you start making when you start making remarks just the way you are you're allowed to say racist you're allowed to say white supremacy you're allowed to say whatever word you can but when the mirror is turned on you you don't get a right to demand and control the narrative so to that uh i i i um you know, in my special, I mentor gender and and I go after college pretty hard. And I was a little nervous. I say words that we used to say in the 80s and compared to today. And then when Dave came out and he said what he had to say, um, I didn't. First of all, it's it's like a TV show. Let's look at half the TV shows. There's no offensive television. We call it acting, and then you, you want to cancel it. It's moronic, but it's dangerous. It's demonic, and it's evil. It's well-funded, and it's meant to mind, terrorize, and, and destroy. And it's just another method of pulling people apart. And quite frankly, I have no respect for for that way whatsoever. I have no respect for anyone that tries to cancel things. To me, you're the problem. You're the issue. You're the division. You're the one that needs to find love that you lost somewhere. You're the one that needs to heal from from a wound that you took. And it's not up to you to lash it out on an entire society and pull it in. 
It's like watching a three-year-old jump up and down on a carpet, screaming and yelling, and no one's the, you know, why you know the kid's drawing all the attention. But at the end of the day, the kid is doing something that, um, quite frankly, the parents don't want them to do, and they, or it's going to harm them, or whatever. Whatever the scenario, what I'm saying is, it it looks like a three-year-old jumping up and down, and the fact that uh, corporate media or whoever the press allows this to be in the forefront. I call corporate media nothing short of terrorists. They're a mind, evil, demonic terrorist, all of them. They put out agendas to create a circus. Hey, you know, here's the, you know, here's the Aaron Rodgers. I can't believe Aaron Rodgers is a liar. I don't I, well, I think he should do this side says this. Let's talk to that side. Let's do this side. It, it, if you can see through all that, it's so obvious and it becomes comical after a while. Um, Dave is a brilliant human being from what I remember. I haven't talked to him in at least five years, if not more. I've emailed him. I haven't heard much from him in the last couple of years. But I will say he was one of the most deepest, spiritual, smartest human beings I ever seen. And he taught me a lot. When we were doing half bait. I remember him going, his exact words were, Jim, be careful. I see the way they're looking at you, man. And I'm like, what do you, what do you talk? He's like, man, you don't understand. There's some evil things out here in Hollywood. And I didn't really understand what he was talking about. And we would have long, long discussions about a lot of things that are probably too heavy for a lot of people to listen to. So, at the end of the day, Dave is always going to say how he feels. He comes from somewhere that he, he feels strong about it. Uh, I've always admired him. I will always admire him. Um, and for those people that want to cancel him, I have no respect for them. I have no regard for them because they're weak. Um, they're, they're, they're weak. They're weak. Mm -hmm. They are part of the problem in our society.